Hey everyone and welcome to Let's Talk with Sibongile. If you're joining us for the first time, I'd like to give you a warm welcome to a show where we educate, inform and get to hear different perspectives about different topics, right? So because the lockdown is extended, we're still going to be with our siblings, our family members and some of them are in school right so they're in different grades others in grade 12 others are still toddlers and they are at home and they'll still continue to learn because learning doesn't stop right but then how do you become an you know a useful individual or an effective individual who's going to be helping out your family members either your daughter your son your nephew your sibling or whoever it is that might require some learning um tips or some you know guidance or some information um during this time when it's locked down right and this brings us to the topic that we are going to discuss in this video we'll be talking about learning but we'll be looking at learning styles and why i chose this topic is because different individuals have different learning styles and when we know which learning style is more effective for a certain child we are able to help them better right so a child develops um, a different personality and style so when they develop they also develop a learning style right so what is a learning style basically a learning style refers to uh, the means in which an individual acquire information burst right so research shows that there are three main uh, types of learning and these are the uh, learning styles that uh, usually learners use or we as individuals when we learn something uh, we use right so these are different types of learning styles are visual learner audit auditory learner which has to do with uh, um, audio and the other one is kinesthetic learn learning right so in these three different kinds of um, learning styles others may adopt two or more or three of them others may be more uh, you know comfortable with only just one but still um, these are the different kinds of learning style and if you know which one to use for a specific child it becomes even much better for an individual to learn so let me just describe these three types of learning styles so that you can better understand what they are what they mean or how you can identify uh, which one to use for a different child learner or any individual who's learning for example so the first one is visual learning right so in this uh, style uh, students or any kind of individual understands best if something is presented visually to them right so they uh, learn best when they see information so these uh, individuals are these individuals are those who visualize concepts better so they are good at visualizing concepts when they see something they learn best right so the second type of learning style is auditory um style so this kind of style uh this way an industry a student or an individual understands and learn best when information is presented to them in an auditory manner so basically they learn and understand best when they hear something so if they would either listen to a mu music if they listen to either um for example the video they just listen to it it's they learn best when they listen to something right so they hear information and it helps them to internalize the concept that is being taught right and the other one is kinesthetic uh, learning style right so this kind of style is where a student learn best when information is presented to them kind of kinesthetically so what does it mean it means that individual uh, learns best when uh, either hands or body is used so basically they need um, uh, someone to use their their body in order to uh, to help them experience the concept that is taught right so for example if you're going to be teaching a toddler about um, dance right so you have to demonstrate what dance is that's how they learn they learn with uh, movements they learn with uh, you know just visualizing um, 
basically they they not 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 necessarily visualizing but they 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 learn best when they experience the concept that is uh, being taught like i said when you teach someone about what dance is or what singing is they are more likely to understand when you use your kinesthetic um you know kind of, yeah your kinesthetic abilities to teach them to learn that kind of concept right so children obviously receive information differently and also when you when you grow up um you you receive information differently but now we're talking about children development and how do they learn best so using these three different kind of style you're able to know um rather if you know these different kind of styles you're able to know which one to use for a certain child right so children receive information through these channels and all day long right they get to develop and develop rather and get older and at some point they use um they use or choose a channel that will easily facilitate acquisition better than others right so while individuals can have a mixture of styles and learn in a different you know way um each child or each individual will most likely to have a style that is dominant for making for taking in either new uh information or material they they find themselves either in the classroom or wherever that they are, right? So how do the learning styles develop, right? So um, in psychology, they talk about um, early childhood development. So at this stage is where most children acquire information about the world around them in, you know, very concrete manner. So basically what you expose your child in the, in, in early days of their development really matters because that's where they acquire information and they make sense of what is around them, right? And what what they get from what is around them or on the environment they're in, um, they it, it it sticks for quite a long time, right? So toddlers usually experience the world around them, and the best way to learn is through either touching and you know just basically walking around and just observing and touching all these kind of things. So you would notice that very uh, uh children at the very young age they like to touch things they like to feel them so basically they're using more like their kinesthetic um learning style and that's how they get to learn and experience the world around them right so research shows that um children under 5 years of age are kinesthetic learners so they discover their their world through playing and you know, research also shows that um, individuals, especially at, at in childhood, is important that we allow um, children to play because that's how they discover their world through art, through playing, right? So playing is not ma mainly just to, you know, pass time, but it's more like a learning experience for children especially, right? So, yeah, this is why children touch everything and often test everything. And you'd realize that they put literally everything in their mouth. They think that everything should go into their mouth, but that's totally a different thing. So that's how our children learn. And that's how they acquire information from a very young age. So um, early childhood development is very critical in one's development, especially children's development, because that's where they acquire information and they get to make the sense of the world around them right so how can you then uh determine um a child's learning style right because now that you know about the different learning styles that how do you then determine your child's or your nephew's or whoever it is that you want to help during this lockdown to succeed or know a concept learn a, uh, a concept you know learn different things um this is how you can uh determine your, your that a kind of individual, if your child, your nephew, your sibling, whoever it is that you are helping to learn either a concept or two, right? So because now you have um, an idea of, okay, you know, I know the different kinds of styles. Um, if you have the internet, that is great. But then usually um, there are um, test style tests that are on the market and other individuals pay a fortune because they then either send them to send their children or you know 
their nephews or siblings to a psychologist or whatever so that they can test their ability in different you know two different assessments in order to test whatever that they want to test and in that sense they also get to find out the kind of learning style that their child or their siblings um use or is more dominant right so basically um because teachers are not necessarily psychologists but then they get to spend a lot of time with uh our children when they're at school they get to see um the different kinds of learning style each individual has right so for example uh, an auditory learner may verbally explain a con a concept until they are blue in the face right and while while helping a child study, thinking that this is the best way for the child to understand. So the child will therefore either go, go outside and get objects and build a concept, right? So that means that that individual is more uh, not necessarily an auditory learner or, you know, the auditory learning style is not dominant, but then they use objects. So that means is that individual is more... Um, visual so they like to see things right and yeah and so the you do how do you then determine uh, a child's learning style therefore you explore different kinds of styles since you know which one uh is or which one or the, the three different styles right you um explore all these and see which one a child is likely to respond to so if you see that okay if you keep on talking about a concept about a concept but a child is not necessarily grasping that kind of concept that you want them to grasp you move on into the another one so you look okay if i use my body and you see that okay the child is responding but not in a way that you think that the child would respond then you move on into a visual a learning style then you like to see that okay my child is more of a visual learner then that's how you determine so you can always explore the different learning styles and see which one a child is more likely to respond to right so that's how you basically determine uh the the learning style of an individual and if you say okay i have internet and i think i can go online and look for you know testing um testing tools to to test my child's um learning style you can do so and the one that i could recommend at the moment um is an online site quiz uh which you know gives a almost accurate um response to how an individual is so uh his learning style is rather so the quiz is um is called what is my learning style so this is a, a, a website that i found that offers uh, three different learning styles and uh, tests and gives an excellent resource at the end so basically you will be given probably different tasks to do either for a child uh, i mean a child will go through that if they're able to use the internet i mean all you know the computer or whatever device that it is and they can test which style they are more dominant in and therefore you would know which style your child uh, is dominant in or you can go to the website check out some of the tasks that they have and try it out with them and then you realize which one is um, a learning style for either your child or whoever you're helping to learn during this lockdown otherwise i hope you guys learned something or you know so yeah i hope you guys learned something from this video and you know what to do if you like what you're hearing if you like watching you know my videos you just have to comment and tell me more what you learn uh, tell me about uh, some things that you think i should talk about in this um lockdown because uh, i believe that there's quite a lot that we can talk about and i believe that we can learn a lot from each other and not necessarily become you know anxious not worry about certain things but then go on with life and because there's life after lockdown therefore we can use this time to learn some of the skills we can use this time to rest we can use this time to bond but while bonding we can be you know be, become informed we can be informed about different things and we can learn a thing or two otherwise goodbye